Welcome back to Brisk Bites. In this video, we're going to dive into one of Brisk's most powerful tools, the AI Presentation Maker. We're starting here on the main Brisk Tools page, which you can get to by going to bit.ly slash try Brisk Tools. There are two powerful ways to use the AI Presentation Maker. We're going to start here on the tile that says Presentation Maker and choose Try It. The first way we can use the presentation maker is basically starting from scratch, a blank Google slide deck with the brisk extension activated. Here we get that box that we're getting very familiar with where we can just fill in the fields with the criteria that we need. I can select standards. I don't have to. The standards and the rubrics button are always optional, but this time I need a presentation about the water cycle. So I do want to go ahead and link that standard so that that will really help me with the feedback and the um, grades that I give my students. So I've got sixth grade earth science and rather than searching around through all of these, I'm just going to use a keyword. Ah, there we go. There's my water cycle uh, standard and I say done. I'm also going to partner with the text box here to let Brisk know that I also need science and engineering practice number two, which is using models that we've been working on in class. And now I'm ready to go. I've got all my fields filled in. I've chosen a template for this one. I decided I liked fresh and I go ahead and choose brisket. Brisk will go ahead and do all the heavy lifting here. It takes what I gave it in terms of standards and criteria in the uh, text box, and it's going to do all of the headings and the subheadings and the titles and the bullet points and the pictures and the organizing. I don't have to do any of that. Brisk is going to give it that first pass, and then I can come back to it and make any changes or adjustments that I would like. That's opportunity number one with the Brisk Presentation Maker. But I also have the opportunity to partner with a resource that's already on the web, like a website, um, another article, or I've got a YouTube video here that my students love. We use it every year on the water cycle, and we're going to review it later in the week. So what I'm going to do is come to this YouTube video. My Brisk button is so handy. It's already down here for me. I'm going to go ahead and summon Brisk, choose create, and choose that presentation maker right here from inside the Brisk library. And it doesn't have to be complicated. My standard is still in here for me, which is great, but Brisk is pretty intuitive. It's like, girl, do you just want me to create a presentation about this YouTube video? Yes, Brisk, I do. And so Brisk is going to just go ahead and do its thing. I choose Brisket, and it's going to take the transcript of this YouTube video, process it with all its Brisk magic in the background, and go ahead and create a presentation for me based on that resource from the internet. Now you can go make copies. You can use the restroom. Thank you so much, Brisk. We really, really needed this one. Thanks for tuning into this Brisk Bite and we'll see you for another one soon.